we're standing right next to that mess, Jen, and as you can see, trash is about to spill onto someone else's yard. Neighbors telling us tonight this is not only an eyesore, but a health hazard. Looking out their windows, some neighbors on McLaren Road in Salem see this mounds of printer boxes and trash sitting in a backyard. It's frustrating. Yeah, because obviously it's gross to look at, but now I'm concerned about um, just the mess with my kids, if there's things living in it. Nicole Callahan and others have been staring at this for months. We're concerned now because you do have rats running around here and the weather's going to get warmer and it's going to get a lot worse here. I don't even open my window shades. I don't want to look at it. This man was one of many who filed complaints with the town when this started back in 2018. According to the lawsuit, town officials sent the owner, Michael Bates, a violation notice. What you see there today is approximately a third of what was there. This is what it looked like back in 2018. According to letters filed with the lawsuit, the owner was using the property as an outdoor warehouse. The assistant fire chief says Bates cleaned up some of what was there, but never finished. The neighbors, justifiably so, are, are, are at their wits end. The town says Bates has since abandoned the property and the town is now taking him to court. Once we moved into the courts, the owner of the building of the property stopped doing any work whatsoever. And as you mentioned earlier, it's in foreclosure now. So now that it's in the hands of the courts, we have to work through that system. There have been two court dates so far with another scheduled for April 15th. The town has every intentions of pursuing this to a, to a conclusion. Um, what that conclusion will be is we hope that the owner of the building will take it, you know, take it upon himself to, to complete the cleanup. And, and be a good neighbor. Now we did attempt to contact Bates, but we could not reach him today. If the town were forced to clean this up, it could cost roughly $20,000. We're live in Salem tonight. Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.